Nowadays, a lot of startups and business software face the problem of losing regular users. It seemed to be a great start. You attracted an excellent, dedicated software development team and UI and UX design agency who created a beautiful and useful product. You spent time and money on promotional materials, videos, advertising, and landing pages. Then you got the first users, first paid subscriptions, and good reviews. Success! Some time has passed, six months, a year or two, and you begin to notice that users are leaving you. What hurts the most is that those who have been with you from the very beginning are leaving as well. Why is this happening? Based on my experience, there are usually two possible reasons. One is user behavior. It is not enough to create a cool project. The user is not a robot, but a person with feelings and emotions, which means that their interest needs to be maintained. The second one is product development. It's not enough to launch a product and only engage in technical support. Today, the IT industry is developing so rapidly that sometimes products lose relevance before they hit the market. What can we do to stop our users from leaving and multiply them instead? Let me walk you through a short checklist with these seven tips that may help you. Number one, make your users feel important. Send out information about new updates, ask users for their opinion, and set up useful tips according to their preferences and previous behavior. Send a newsletter. Prepare a 90-day onboarding strategy and automate it. Send re-engagement emails to inactive subscribers. Knowing what your users want, need, and look for in your application is the first step to personalizing the content and connecting with the user, which will in turn make them feel valued. You need to introduce your product, activate the user, and then make sure that you retain them to the point in which your product becomes a part of their lives. For sending emails, you can use Woodpecker or MailChimp. You'll find the links to them in the description. Number two, shower users with benefits. Long-term users should get benefits, discounts, special offers, and unexpected bonuses. This will show the user how important they are to you and take attention away from small imperfections of the product. Everyone likes to feel special. Preserve this feeling. There is an interesting article on the subject of loyalty management program software. Number three, build a personal connection with the user. It might seem obvious, and to a certain extent it is, but sending personal messages to users, calling them by their names, and wishing them a good day in a welcome message is a practice that can help you build a connection with your users and thus make them more open to the idea of investing in your product or service. Personal plans and algorithms are also used by a lot of companies. There's a trend to allow a customer to choose a theme, set the app on dark light mode, or even use your own background to make it even more personal. Offer special promo gifts for birthdays. For example, if you have a Starbucks app on your phone, you'll get offered a free coffee on your birthday. Some of the other birthday offers that you may see in different apps include promo codes for half-priced or free products, free monthly subscriptions for up to even three months, and discounts on services on your birthday. Number four, maintain up-to-date product design. Design should be as timeless as possible. Some of the things that can help make your design timeless are the things that we've already talked about. Some of them may also seem obvious, but that doesn't make them any less important. Here are a few tips on how to do this. Keep it simple and user-friendly. Make sure your layout is clear and that there are not too many toolbars, buttons, or other features that can distract or confuse the user. Get to know your user. Do your research on what people want. You can learn about your user's needs through surveys, focus groups, and other feedback. Don't just guess what users want, ask them. Don't waste your time on something that has already been done well. There are patterns and practices for UX designs that are well honed and familiar to users. Keep your brand consistent. Use the same or similar features, the color palette, voice assistance, pictures, icons, and style across your app shouldn't change from one site to another or one icon to another. Personalization. Users love customizing their products. They also love when it is done for them by the service, like Netflix does. The algorithm personalizes the account, giving recommendations based on users' behavior. 
with previously watched films and TV shows. If your product does not look modern, was made more than two years ago, and has not changed since that time, this is a serious reason to start to collaborate with designers. Number five, use the latest interface interaction trends. Another thing you need to do is to make sure to keep an eye on what is in use now. If you have a mobile application and you still use arrows to scroll through slides, then now is the time to change it to swipe. Use gestures, replace outdated pop-ups with neat toasts, and adapt web applications to all screen resolutions, including having a convenient mobile version, not just scaling. Ensure that all active elements have their own behavior. Make the buttons react to mouse hover as well as tabs in the menu and active links. Add the ability to collapse the menu bar and use small animations to make the interface lively and not static. Work on the smoothness of transitions. To stay up to date with the changing trends, take a look at the blogs we listed in the description. You can also find a list of well-designed websites with modern interactive interfaces that can serve as an inspiration for your own design. Number six, improve your product. Make sure to increase the functionality and the design by adding new useful features, constantly analyze the user experience and feedback, study competitors, and expand the capabilities of your application. As the number of features increases, your audience also increases, which means there is a chance to attract more users. In the description, you'll find links to some popular tools that can help you analyze an app's user experience, such as Woopra, Google Analytics, Clicky, Smartlook, or Adobe Target. Number seven, update your expertise. Depending on your specialization, you must provide the user with the latest data or algorithms. For example, if this is a business application for job searching or recruiting, update filters and logic, focusing on the fact that a lot of work is now 100% remote and recruiting itself is often conducted completely remotely. A UX designer will help you do a review and will suggest the changes and updates needed. Once you go through this short checklist, you will be able to see whether your business process is aligned with all the points. Coming up with a customer churn prevention strategy based on the steps that we went through in this article and introducing them into your application will give your software a longer life. I wish your product the best of luck.